Yeah, what is it? Go no further, my princess. Do you realize we've approached the evil forest? Have you forgotten how scary the stories about the forest are? Oh, Ola. Don't tell me you believe those four stories. They are mites and lullabies for toddlers and not big girls like us. Hmm? Come on, girls. Let's go. Yes, my princess. No. But my princess, there are a lot of exciting locations for a walk. Not this cause for us, my princess. Well, there's certainly none in the palace. Because I've seen all there is to see in the palace. And have you heard of the fascinating fountain? What? Deep inside the forest. If you can just see that, then we'll return to the palace. Come on, let's go. <laughs> to die, Hunter. Thank you for saving my life. My name is Princess Adese from Indiago Kingdom. And uh, this, these are my maidens, Olama and Adora. Yes. Thank you. So what could a princess and her maidens be doing out here in this very dangerous forest? Well, we only took a stroll. A stroll? It's quite a long way from home. You should leave this forest, it's dangerous. What's your name? My name is the king. So, where are you from? The forest is my home. The forest? I don't understand. Once again, you shouldn't leave here. It's dangerous. So that you can be rewarded for saving my life. Have that warriors of Monsa. Let your pretty hands. 
hands of my precious daughter. My princess, the most adorable of all princesses. Oh, whoever did has struck the tail of a tiger. Yes, and whoever touches the tail of a tiger has invented death. Oh, yes. Able bear, you have touched the tail of a tiger by sending your warriors to attack my daughter. Your Majesty. Summon a young immediately. Let him assemble all the warriors of the land. We must invent Osara tossing tomorrow morning. Your Majesty, did you say tomorrow? Don't you think it's uh, too short a time to embark in a war? It's too did uh, I not conquer Mowe? Oboko. Enuagidi. Obeledu, Ichida, even Oraugu, to mention but a few. You did, Your Majesty. Osala is no match for us. Yes, I do not need preparations to invade Osala, to wipe out every living soul from their land. A lion needs no caution to feed on a calf. Oh, yes. Tomorrow, Osala must feel my wrath. No living soul. Man, woman, and their children shall be spared. Their blood must flow on their land. Summon a young immediately. As Your Majesty pleases. Sure you are doing the right thing, my lord. Stay away from this woman. What is for men, not for women. I thank God you are safe, damn man. Next time, if you are visiting the forest, make sure you go with the guard. Yeah? Yes, uh, uh, And who is the young man you said that sent you? He deserves to be rewarded. I don't know. I only know his name. Ikenga. He didn't say where he is from? I wish he did. Oh, he must be a god in human form. <laughs> um, all right. Come on, let's go in. I have a story to tell you. About the forest. Ah, <laughs> yes, a whole lot of them. Come, come on, come on. I hear I brought your annual sacrifice. You seem not satisfied with my gift. What have I done? I have done so much for you, okay, Miri. Your desire to become the greatest king that ever lived, I have granted you. I have seen you through many victories in many battles that other kings tremble at the mention of your name. Have I not blessed you in mercy? To whom much is given, much is expected. There is no doubt you've been very faithful to me. And I am nothing without you. Ask anything, even if it is five veggies, I shall give it to thee. I do not want five heads, okay, Mary, but one special one that is worth more than every other. I want the head of your own daughter, the princess. She must be sacrificed to me. My princess, she's the most precious thing I ever owned in life. No. And the most precious sacrifice to me too. She must be sacrificed. No man can disappoint a god. 
whatever a god wants, he gets. I am waiting for you to bring her to me within two days. If you fail, I shall not only take her by myself, but I will make you and your kingdom feel my wrath for your disobedience. I can see that the gods have favored you today, my son. Yes, the gods favored me, mother. Though it's not so big, but uh, let us manage this one. You use it to prepare special onomu soup for me. Eh? That's a big one. <laughs> of course, I'll prepare your onomu soup. Knowing that is your favorite. Oh. Thank you, mother. Aha! That reminds me, the other day in the forest, I saw some Ozala guards trying to abduct the princess of Diago and her maidens. Really? What happened? Don't you trust me, mother? I scared them away. And then I saved the princess and her maidens. Ah, that was a brave one, my son. But I don't like you getting yourself in dangerous situations like that. Eh? Please stay out of trouble, especially when it has to do with Diago. You could. Mother, why do you always speak of Ndiago in such manner? Why? Nothing that you need to know now. When the time comes, you will understand. When the time comes? Hasn't the time also come for me to know who my father is? Where I come from? Okay, must we go through this at any given situation? Yes, huh? Yes, we must and we will, Mother. As long as you keep me in the dark, we will. Okay, my son, I understand how you feel. Don't worry, when the time comes, I will tell you everything you do. But remember, some things are better left the way they are. Thank you. 
Welcome, my friend. I have been expecting you for long. What kept you from visiting an old friend? An old friend and a god. Well, as you know, I have been hunting. Your strength grows by the day. But I also know that my strength will be nothing compared to the strength of a god. Physical strength is for mortals. The gods deal in supernatural ways. Exactly my point, Krito. Exactly what I am saying. I wish to be strong. I wish to be powerful, to have strength, to do great things like gods, like you. You might not possess the ability to shoulder the power of the gods. But for sure, you have an unfulfilled destiny with the gods. Huh. Unfulfilled destiny. What destiny? Ikenga, you do not know who you are. I know who I am. I am Ikenga. The great Ikenga. The one and only Ikenga. Son of a helpless hero. A man who has no knowledge of his origin. A man who does not know his father. A man whose life is clouded with so much darkness and uncertainty. Wisdom of mortals end, that of the gods begin. Ikenga. A great secret, a great destiny, are what your life revolves around. But only in time will you know. Okay, my son. I understand how you feel. Don't worry. When the time comes, I will tell you everything you need to know. But remember, some things are better left the way they are. I the you bend your voice when you are sweeping. Your Majesty, thank you. You see, Apete, Rigwe. And you pack those decks there. Um, <clears throat> hello, Your Majesty. Why I summoned you? You see, you and Apete. It is for us to deliberate on our forthcoming New Year festival. You know, it is a very great occasion. But I want everyone to feel the pulse this time around. But because we are not fully represented here, we have to defer it to our next sitting. Um, so that we will plan and make it very, very colorful.
is happening? Story when I was only a child, that the sky would darken and the heaven would storm, and then the great Okuku, the dragon, will emerge in great anger. Okuku. What, 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 what does that mean? What, what, what is going on? The great dragon has been made angry. Hmm. This has only happened a few times in the long history of mortals. When the great dragon is made angry, he will leave his shrine and feast on blood. And it must not stop until it gets enough. Hmm. Woe to whoever that has provoked the wrath of great Ukuku. For doom has he brought to himself and to his family. If that is so, mother, I have to stop him before he kills me. Huh? This is the battle for God, not for man. No mortal can stop it. Not even you, my son. I remember, like I always told you, that some things are better left the way they're destined to be. You know, come. Hey! Your Majesty, my fellow elders, oh, no. 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 it has been so many years ago since the last attack of Okuku the dragon on Ndango, our land. None of us here even witnessed the doom till today. It was like a fairy tale from our ancestors. The question is this. What provoked Okuku the dragon to unleash his wrath on us the very day we were planning how to celebrate our New Year festival? Oh, huh? You have the point there, oh no. Thank you. Because we all know that uh, Okuku the dragon does not act wickedly except when provoked. Of course. Uh, um, Your Majesty, did you? I suggest we visit Otropa, the chief priest, so that he can help us unravel this mystery. You have a point. Bro. I support him, Igwe. Yes. I support him. Indeed, yeah. Igwe. I have heard all you said. Hmm. 
have equally listened to your various opinions concerning this unfortunate incident. I don't think it is better or wise to look for any as a more to help us in this regard. Oh yes. Okoko has already attacked my people. Even killed one of my maiden. Is it not better we find a way of dealing with Okoko rather than sitting here waiting for fruitless answers from any as a more? Uh, your, your Majesty, our people say that no matter how tall the Roko tree is, its history is not complete without giving credit to that tiny seed it germinated from. We cannot just wait battle on uh, Okuku blindly without first finding out the reason why it unleashed its wrath on us. Yes, because Okuku the deity has always been faithful to us. I disagree with you, Isimu. Words are meant for it. Action is for a man. I, Okemili, has never been a weakling. Okuku has touched the tail of a tiger. And that means war. And henceforth, Okuku remains an enemy to this kingdom. We must find a way to fight it rather than sitting here waiting for fruitless answers from. Uh, 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 Oh, as a more or to the I have spoken. You left your resting place with so much anger, wrath in your eyes. Would you mind sharing with me? Ah. Aren't you too young for such curiosity? I'm old enough to seek knowledge, Rito. Maybe, but not old enough to comprehend the riddles of a god. Hmm. You think so? We can try. The ambition of mortals gives birth to such responsibility, often too heavy for them to shoulder. I do not understand. Meaning? I told you, young friend, some things are not meant for you to understand. Until time unfolds, curiosity can kill. Shall we talk about other things? Tell me about your hunting adventures. <laughs> sure, a good way to discharge a friend's curiosity. Did you kill anyone today? I can see your curiosity is growing by each breath. Perhaps it's time to retire to my resting place. No, 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 please. I beg you, do not go. Okay? I promise you, no more questions. Right? Please don't go. You know how lonely it could be around here without you or my mother. Brave he came. You always have a way of making me do your wish. I will stay and ask for your questions. <laughs> the transgression of one man can cause a thousand deaths. Wisdom, bravely came down. Are you sure this is going to work, Obweri? Because my life and that of my people are in great danger. <laughs> No more harm shall come to you, nor your people. For whosoever that comes to Gwabale, he never forsake him. <laughs> Take that, sprinkle the black powder, run the tree, and tie the rope. You have turned Okuku forever. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Go! You are protected.
gates forever. How dare you challenge me? A greater calamity have you invoked upon yourself and the entire Ndiago. Your blood shall quench my thirst and I shall take what is mine.
verso. You, my friend, are gone back. It's for your warrior here with his team to join forces with my own warrior so we can fight our cuckoo, the dragon, with a united force from my own warriors and your own legendary warriors. We can defeat the dragon. I cannot risk the life of my loyal warriors for a fight which is not ours. If you help me, I will live the rest of my life being indebted to you for this assistance. And anything you seek of me, I shall give it to you without hesitation. I like your back end, King Okebe. I will trade if your land between the boundary of Ndiago and the one near Igudo will all be mine. Ah, what else are we talking about? Right. We will come and help you kill the dragon. Yes. That's too yes. much. Is there nothing else to ask for? No, that's all I can do for you. That's all. Teach you how to use your gun. This is a rifle here. So the first thing you do is you get down. Take your aim. Take your target. Come on, give it a try. Sons and daughters are dying by the day. And the rot 
of Okuku. Eh? Since incessant. Something has to be done. Something has to be done anyway before we all are wiped out on the surface of this earth. Easy Mugo. Something has to be done. To be done. Mm -hmm. And something is already being done. Already been done. What you I believe you saw those warriors on their way in here. And you saw the mysterious archer. They will kill you. Your Majesty, with due respect, I don't believe that those warriors we saw out there can defeat Tukuku. They are nowhere close to our solution. They are not. Your Majesty, with all due respect, all the bows, arrows, spears, nor the soldiers in the whole world cannot kill Okuku the dragon. Because Okuku the dragon is a god, and no man battles with the god. There is only one way to stop Okuku. And that is. Otrupa, of course, the Ezemo. He's the only one that can consult Okuku to know the reason for this wicked act on us. No way. Oh no. No one will consult Otrupa. Done a battle line with my people. And the only way out is to return fire for fire. For every life of our people lost, there will be any appeasement for you. Not for a murderer. Yes. Watch out what will happen. I am going to kill Okuku. I have fought and conquered men, evil spirit in the past. So I have all it takes. Destroy Okuku. I will crush Okuku. I have spoken. Igwe. I don't want any more di uh, 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 discussion on this matter. Igwe, Ogo, Gapo, Nobaro. Oboko, Apu, Nobaro. One day, I shall be taking a flight on your back. <laughs> the secrets of the skies are not meant for mortals. Mm, you think so? Know this, this particular mortal will not mind you then. I shall be going. To where? On a mission. What mission? The mission of a god. See you soon, my young friend. I know how you've been feeling over the recent situation. But you cannot continue to torture yourself emotionally, psychologically, and physically. I suggest you listen to the advice of the elders to seek a solution from Oturukbodi Ezemu. 
is a mediator between men and gods. He can pacify it. And peace will be restored in our land. Ndiago. How dare you utter such rubbish before me? Did those miserable old men send you to convince me? Oh, oh my king. No one sent me. I. I only spoke my mind. And that your mind is not good enough to convince me to change my own mind. I am okay with the heavy realms that are bruised my people. No one objects to my opinion. Not even you. Those bunch of cowards who sit with me on the throne as members of my cabinet. What is that I can do I'm done. I'll have to retire. Just to stop him. So stop him. Let me pour it for you. Daddy, don't. Oh, Daddy, don't take a call. Oh, why not? This is just 5% of it. And remember, you're a princess of India. So you must just stand like a No, 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 no. no. You know what? <laughs> so. I'm not going to see you again. Sin was taken. Tell him to assemble his warriors. But first of all, take the princess to her chamber and make sure she's secure. Dragon is coming. Be at our last. Hmm. That's the dragon. Attack! What a cause you brought on Diago. Mercy. Mercy for Diago. Thank you for accepting my business. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
I know. You are still awake again? Are you still awake again tonight? Please. You surely need some rest. Can we go to bed? Please. Sleep. Sleep. Sleep for a king whose heart is troubled and whose kingdom is on fire. Only the strong can face the future. I'm afraid. I'm afraid your strength is gradually littering like the vegetable. And it's not doing any good to your health. What have I done to Kuku? What have I done to Kuku to deserve this plague? Threatening me and my people. My lord, some questions are too heavy for a man's heart. Yes. I need no man's help. But Kuku is not just a man. Enough woman. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please calm down. Can we go to bed now? You go. need some rest. Go, I will join you later. Go? No. I'd rather remain here with you than to go in there and sleep without you occupying your space on the bed. Thank you for being there for me. I'm sorry. I snared at you. Thank you. I'm only doing my job. That's okay. Can we go to bed now? Oh no. See me fasting tomorrow morning. We'll have a meeting with the local government chairman. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Your Majesty, I had the cancer to see you. Uh, uh, let him come. Greetings, Your Majesty. Onye Edekachi, the young man who knows the secret of the white man. Welcome. Uh, sit down, sit down. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. How is my son, Ikenna? He's doing marvelous the world, Your Majesty. As a matter of fact, he's one of the best infantry soldiers in the U.S. Marine. <laughs> Quite impressive. He took after me, his father. <laughs> he actually promised to return in a month's time. No, uh, he will not come home. Uh, you see, uh, actually, I have been longing to have him home. At least to get himself acquainted with the culture and ways of our people as the heir apparent. But mm -hmm, from the way things has turned out to be, uh, I, I wouldn't have him come home for now. When, when you want to come. May I know your reasons for us? Um, a lot has changed in Diago. And I'm sure your father has not told you. Um, as it sounds now, my hands are full. I am battling to save the life of his younger sister, the princess and his mother. 
from the danger within. But I can't seem to understand. What danger are you talking about? Uh, you've just returned. Go in. They will serve you food. You eat and rest. We have all day to talk about this. As Your Majesty desire. You people are the greatest oracle priest of our time. <laughs> and that's why I sent for you from your various kingdoms <laughs> to come and join force with me so we can defeat Okuku, the dragon. <laughs> I mean, if you help me destroy Okuku, I shall reward you beyond your imaginations. <laughs> Your Majesty, you have spoken your mind. But I wish to remind you that Okuku is a deity. No man fights the gods and lives to see the next sunshine. Not even an ordinary mortal like me that is just a servant of the gods. Akrika, yes, Your Majesty. Are you saying you will not help me? If that is what my words imply, that is what is meant to say. Onwamosu. Your Majesty, I cannot help. You people are a bunch of idiots. Parading yourselves as native doctor. No power in you. In my palace.
be going for hunting. Yes. Oh, go, go. Mother, it's happening again. Hey. Yes. His wrath is burning. And this time more fiercely. I must stop you this time. No, my son. I must stop you. Please. I have told you, you are only a mother. Leave the affairs of the gods for the gods who want to go. No. Mother, I say no. 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 This is three days since our Igwe got missing. This ugly development has thrown the entire kingdom into confusion and his family into sorrow. My elders, what do we do? Elders, hello. Hmm, Ndichi, there is nothing to do now. Until those warriors that left in search of him returns. Solution. Yes, solution. One question keeps bothering me. How could the Igwe leave the four walls of this palace without informing anybody? No information, not even to the queen, as regards to his whereabouts. And he left the four walls of this palace without just one bodyguard, not one. If I'm back. There is more than meets the eye. There is no need for such questions now. The deed has been done. All we need now is solution to this problem. Can you tell me what you're doing? What is the situation? We found you guys. The brothers of Kushan. Look at me in a book, Idiana. Look at me in a book, Idiana. I'm a little loose, and yet, she will let you fetch it. Can you go to the blue night? That is your baba when they call. Hey, My fellow elders. Oh no. It's okay. This is no time for blames, but for solution. There must be a solution to this. Okay?
My son, you're not eating. Must Okuku kill each time he's angry? Huh? Okuku is a god, and the ways of the gods men cannot understand. However, Okuku does not care without a cause. No cause is worth taking a man's life. No cause. My son, the gods are wiser than you. I know. Then stay away from the ways of the gods and eat your food. You go, leave the gods alone. Um, elders, now that our ego is what is our next line of action? It's your careful. Good question from you. My fellow elders. No, no, no. We have to send for his son, the prince, the heir apparent to the throne, who is abroad. Because he must be present before we can commence with the burial arrangements. Yes, that's true. That is true. In that case, let us send for him immediately. Yes. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, my friend. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, Ikenna. Yeah. Oh, my son, you're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Come here, I miss you so much. Come here. Oh, I miss you. Miss you too. Oh, wow. You look big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, huh? <laughs> this is my friend Anderson. Oh, my son, how are you? Anderson, my mom. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Uh -huh. We're going to Africa. <laughs> oh. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome, my, you're welcome, my friend. Yeah. Where is she at? Oh, Adeze. Yeah. Adeze is in her room. Okay, I thought as much. Son, can you see how big you have grown? And no one will ever believe that I gave birth to you. Because we are almost at the same age. Oh, come on, mom. Don't forget I, got, I know the story. I know the story. That got married to you only at the age of 14 because you were the most beautiful girl that got him attracted on the Royal Queen's contest and you took him just a few months later. Hmm. I know that story. So if I told you all this, they are not just funny, but as memorable as your father. Uh, Mom, I mean, uh, where is the great Okemele? I mean, I've been in the country for like three hours. And he's nowhere to be found and nobody's saying anything about it. Did he travel? I mean, he should know I'm back. I mean, he must be happy that I'm back. Okay, me. Mom? Mom? <laughs> the 
son, your father passed on. Life of our people. Whoa, who are you, madam? We are United States Marine, an American to go for a show with terrorists. Yeah, you are the man, man. Stop, man. The dragon will return. You said what? Yes. The dragon I visited many times. Went back and returned. Yeah? Okay. What's up, dog? Okay. My prince and my elders. The dragon has returned. What? 
and the screen people near the Ujiri River. Oh. I told you, my brain. Oh. I said it. Where do I find the beast? Far away in Ndede Forest, the Asesua Forest. That's where you get it. In that case, we attack it there. But I need someone to lead us. My prince, I'm sorry you cannot go. Says who? You cannot fight the dragon. See, you are the future king of this kingdom. We cannot risk you. And okay. that is the more reason I have to save my kingdom from this evil beast. My, my prince, uh, uh, Okuku is very powerful. Your father died uh, in this adventure. Uh, don't dare it. I, I, I suggest, my prince, that uh, let us appease Okuku. He will leave us alone. Uh, let's appease it. Listen, old man. I am Iken, the son of Okemili. United States Marine. United States do not negotiate with terrorists. And I will not negotiate with your damn gods. Now listen. I am not my father. I am his son. And for the last time, I need a volunteer that will lead me to that forest. And you will! Get it, more. My place, I have a bad leg. We'll leave tomorrow. Hey, hey. Me? We'll hey! Leave tomorrow. Hey! Hey! Hey, oh, oh no, who are you looking at me? Get out, baby. What have I said wrong now? And what did I say wrong? Hey. I, hey. 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 as a gift. And then I shall be crowned the king. Brother! Let's, let's go. Jogo, yeah, just like I requested, you look cute on your Biafran attire. Thank you. Come on, let's go play some game. Oh, oh no. Jogo, go. May the gods be with you. This is the only road. 
and uh, you know he cannot take this big car. So let us go. Meaning, meaning, we will we, we go by foot. Shit! You never said this, old man. You never asked. Damn shit! What do we do now? No can do. We we'll go by feet. If that's the only choice. I want to save my people from this beast. So I don't fucking care what happens. You know how we roll? Yeah. So let's go kick some ass. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Njoku, I have a gift for you. Hey! <laughs> my friends! <laughs> This is a little gift yes. from the U.S. Marine. So you don't need this. Hey, tell you. Ah! Oh, wait, this is Ite's cap. You have to respect it. But I don't want to fight the dragon. Hey! Let's go to war. Alright. Where do you go? Say you were a Biafran soldier. Rap with Biafra, leave Biafra out of this. I am tired. Uh, you know, bro, let him rest for a while, right? Come on, man, we'll have, we'll have no time. Bro, just let him rest for a while, eh? He's an old man, can't you see that? Let's go. 
Ich muss noch ehrlich. It's called energy drink. You don't know what it is? Try it first. <laughs> you don't know what it is? Please try it. There you go. It will strengthen you up. You good? It's very good. Feels good? Mm. Yeah, I thought as much. Drink some more, it will help you. Okay. I please, I'm okay. I have energy there. <laughs> Bring it here. Yeah, you good? Yeah, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Now you know what it takes to be a soldier. Now yes. ah, let's go. Anjuba, let's go. Let's go. Did I hear you right? Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. Do I look like I'm choking? <laughs> Listen, old man, I didn't walk this far to come and look at a tree or a damn shrine. All I asked from you was to show me the beast. My, my prince, Okuku, the beast lives in there. Listen, can, can, can you hear this old fool? Bullshit. Listen, Njoku. It's impossible for dragons to live in a tree. Dragons live in a fucking rock for crying out loud. My prince, believe me. I am telling you the truth. Okuku lives in there. Mm. My prince, please, I want to ease myself. Njoku. Listen, look at me. Look at me. Don't do anything stupid. You have 60 seconds. Now go. 60 seconds? Nima Kamu, how do you go? Ciao. Keeping this old fool. I don't know, bro. Go look out for him. Hmm. What's up, Anderson? Where's the job? There's nowhere to be found. What do we do now? Time to play game, boy. Going down the street. Ikenna, son of Okemiri, why have you come to disturb me? Go home before I change my mind and kill you. Can you hear him? Maybe. Drug on talks in Africa? I can't believe it. Lies! We are the United States Marines and America do not make a shot with terrorists. Yeah. I am not here to make a shot with you. I am here to eliminate you. So die!
I told you to leave, but you are as stubborn as your father. I do not intend to shed the blood of a prince or any member of the royal household, except she that I so desire for a sacrifice. Now go, and never shall I see your face, or you will die. Yes, never. Okay, I'm going. You mean you found him at the forest? Yes. Yes. But what is actually wrong with him? Hmm, Mama, I do not know. But with the help of this, he will recover soon and speak to us. Calm down, I will tell you. Relax. 
My name is Ikenga. I found you in the forest, lifeless. And I brought you down here to help you. Uh, and this is my mother. of Ndiago. Ndiago. Do you know my kingdom? Mother, anything, any problem? Mm. Are you sure? That's it. Listen guys, you guys need to help me get back home, okay? I don't know, my car is parked somewhere in the jungle, but you need to lead me back home. I understand, but you need to get some more rest. Huh? You need to get some rest. We will fix you something to eat. Uh, okay. um, After that, I believe you'll be strong enough for the journey. Alright, uh, so you're promising to show me my way back home? It started many years ago. Um, my, my fellow elders, it's been a long time since the morning period of the late Igwe past, yet our throne has remained vacant because of the law ahead between Atamahe and Okemiri on who to assume the throne of Ndiago Kingdom. Now, what is our decision on this? According to the new tradition, the mantle of kingship now falls on Atama here, who is the only male child in our Bioha family. Liar! Liar! How much did Atama pay you? How much did Atama pay you to fabricate this story? How much did this thief pay you? Would you respect my elders? What okay me to mind his utterances? Or what will happen, Atama? Or what will happen? You are only a feeble he goat. I will beat you blue black with my fist, Atama. Okay, Miri. Real men do not show their valiance with physical strength but wisdom. Is this the way you will lead your people if you become the king? Watch your mouth, Atama. Watch your mouth before I shut it for you, coward. The throne is and remains mine by birthright, and not even the tradition. Now the custom can change that. Atama, hey, hey, watch your mouth. Lie. Atama, calm, watch your mouth. Calm down the boat of you, okay? Must you put confusion each time we, we, we meet on this regard? Eh? Please. We should be more mature again. Yeah, one thing. One Atama to stay off my clan or heaven will roll. Atama, heaven. And if that happens, where will you hide? My elders, I will not stay here and table word with this feckless man. Do not waste their words, especially the ones with royal blood. Atama, do not cross my path. Do not cross my path, Atama. Stay off my path. Do not dare me, Atama. Prince Okami. Uh, okay, are, are you walking out? Prince! Are you walking out on the elders? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, You're welcome, my prince. Thank you. I, I hope I didn't keep you waiting, Chimpo. Not at all, not at all. I want you to remain on my side. In this contest. Um, but, but, but my no, prince. No bots, it's your dog. Here. Here. Here is a sum of 10,000 naira. Yes, for your way out. All this for me. Me? Yes, and more to come. And with this, my prince, I assure you, you are already on the throne. <laughs> Um, your words are suiting to the soul. Mm. I'll be on my way now. Mm. 
What is it? I had a bad dream. You and dreams. Let's continue our sleep. My husband, you have to give up your fight for the throne, please. How could you say a thing like that? Your brother Okemiri is evil. He will do everything possible to stop you. Please, my husband. I don't want to lose you. Please. Just give up the throne, please. Obi, I'm not surprised at your judgment. Because women are known for fear. But let me promise you one thing. Nothing will happen to me. Obi. It is not as if I'm too desperate or ambitious of becoming the king. What you have to understand is that I must protect our tradition. I must protect the throne from that brat. That proud and arrogant brat who can marry. I know. I know. But I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Please give up the throne. Please. You don't have to be scared. See, very soon everything will be over. I will be crowned the king and you the queen and the prince of our land. Let's go to bed. Let's go back to sleep. Look, look, Prince Okemiri. Look, if you think you can stop me on my way to bribe me, you are making the worst mistake. I shall stand on the side of truth and justice. No amount of treasure can change the decision of our gods. I repeat, no amount of treasure can change the decision of our gods. We shall see you stubborn old fool. We shall see. Mm. We shall see. Um, uh, you see, um, all I'm saying is that customs and traditions are man-made decisions approved by the gods. Our ancestors have created these customs and traditions for us to follow, which I believe they did not even abide to. So if we critically analyze this custom and tradition, and we see that it is not to the best of our interest, we can either amend it or better still, we retain the one that we already have. After all, the gods will still approve it. How dare you utter such blasphemy? Eh? Do you want to invoke the wrath of the gods? And who are you to decide what will invoke the wrath of the gods or not? Odogu, wash your mouth! Elders of Ondago, though I'm not a member of the lawyer cabinet, but as an elder, I still believe that Atama is the rightful heir to our throne because Prince Okemiri is arrogant and our new tradition is sure and the best. You see, you see, I agree with you. You see, I can see that this, uh, this, this desperate, over ambitious beast Okemiri has bribed you against truth and justice of our gods. But I will never be part of it. Never! Whether you people like it or not, Okay, Miri is going to be on that throne. Odogu, wash your mouth! Odogu, wash your mouth! Odogu! Njoku has finally made things very difficult for me. I am afraid he has succeeded in turning the minds of the members of the royal cabinet against me, Okay, Miri. I, I do not want to lose the throne, Njoku. I do not want to lose that throne, Atakatabo. I need your help. I promise to reward you immensely. <laughs> you have nothing to worry. Nguku, our God, is a merciful God. He will help you as long as you reward me immensely. <laughs> I, I promise to reward you beyond your imagination. Um, thank you once again. I mean, your words sir, have given me reason to smile. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Obi, mm -hmm. do you like the food? Deli. It's delicious. Delicious. Let me give you. Mm. 
But we bring the food. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not hungry. Hey, the food is for you. I'm not hungry. You're not hungry. It's not for you. For him. Mm. Oh, babe. Mm? You only say he. How do you know he's a boy? I'm very certain. My instincts don't fail me. Okay, let's wait and see how genuine your instincts is. size of his horn that rose a battle challenge to the leopard. Atama, you are the foolish ram. By contesting for that throne with I, Okimu, the son of the late Abogidi, the greatest king of Kiago. Atama! 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 It is only a foolish ram that is blinded by pride huge size of horn throws a battle challenge to the leopard. Atama, you are the foolish one. By contesting for that throne with I, Okimu, the son of late Abogidi, the greatest king of Ndiago. Today, Atama, die like the stupid and foolish ram that you are. You must die. <coughs> Come and take water, take water. Take water. Take water. Take water. Like someone whose neck is in pain. I tried to ask him what was wrong. But before he could speak a word, he started spitting foam from his mouth. That is strange, isn't it? Very, very strange. This woman's a liar. She's not saying the truth. It's obvious uh, our brother Atama died from food poisoning. Or how can you explain that our brother was eaten and all of a sudden died with foam coming out of his mouth? Let her say the truth. My prince, are you trying to say that I killed my husband? A man I love from the depth of my heart. Stop pretending, woman. Stop pretending and tell the elders the truth. Elders. My prince. Do not be deceived by her. Fake tears are crocodile tears. This woman is evil. Mm -hmm. My elders. You see, what I don't understand is, 
How can she possibly kill her own husband? Is that possible? Odogo, that is not the point here. That is not the point at all. Her reason for committing that atrocity is not important. What is important is to see that she pays for her sin. She should pay for her sin. Right. Are you trying to say that you believe him? Of course I do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you see, there is no point for, for necessary arguments and, and chaosity. Eh? Let us send for the Ezemo immediately. Boy. I'm sure he will tell us what to do. Yes. Very Let well us done. send for him. It's okay. Hey, madam, stop your crocodile tears. Stop your crocodile tears here. Okay? <laughs> the truth must be stored as tradition demands. Yes. <laughs> Than ridicule yourself. I am innocent. Ugufu, we decide. Step on the mat of justice and prove your innocence. My husband. I prison his food. I said it, this woman is evil. This woman is evil, I said it. People of Fundiago. You have seen what you seek for. This woman will be banished to Ide Forest, where she will have no association from people of Undiago. That is the voice of the gods. The gods have spoken. <laughs> Thank you very much, Atakata Abo. Everything went as planned. 
I told you not to worry. By now, she be wallowing in agonies in the ancestral forest. And for my rival, <laughs> his body was so rotten in the soil, and no one, no one will stand on my path to the throne. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> no one is greater than my God. Um, my fellow elders, now that Atama is dead and the dispute is over, I think it's high time we crown a new king because we cannot continue to have our throne vacant. And from the look of things, it is so clear that Okemiri is the chosen one. And so we should go ahead and crown him as the king. I disagree with you. I disagree with you people. Look, despite the fact that Atama is dead, we still have to look into our traditions. Yes, yes. we must look into our traditions. Yes. There is no more deliberation on this matter. Okay, Miri. It's the next way of Fundiago. The gods have spoken. That was how Okemi and Atakatabo conspired to give the crown of Ndiago to Okemi illegally. Though the gods got angry and struck my predecessors to death, their anger has remained unappeasable for Ndiago because of that atrocity. We all know things were bad at the section of Okay Ministry because he was hated by the people of Diago because of his arrogance and tyranny. He was afraid he may lose his glory as a king. So he consulted Okuku, the great god, to help him. He begged Okuku to make him powerful. Okuku made him the most powerful king of our time. But Okuku asked for a price which he couldn't pay. Okuku asked him to bring his daughter, Adeze, as sacrifice. But he refused. And that is why Okuku is angry with Ndiago. And Nguku, our god, is also angry with Ndiago for Okemi illegally. And Nguku, our god, is also angry with Ndiago over Okemi Ilegure. So what do we do? And how do we escape the wrath of Okuku? There is only one way to appease Okuku. Only one way to find the right king of Ndiago. Okuku made a covenant with him. And by the bond of that covenant, only him will Okuku listen to. And only him is worthy to sit on the throne of Ndiago to fulfill the destiny the gods prepared for his father. That is the only way the gods will return their favor to Ndiago and peace will once again reign. Wise one, how do you find peace? In the faraway forest, though my veins are very weak from old age, but I will journey with you. When he is found, your problems will be over. Okay. We will leave tomorrow.
greeting the elders. Who are you and what are you doing in the middle of the forest? We came from the faraway land of Ndiago and we are looking for a certain young man who lives in this forest with his old mother. Well, no one else lives here except my mother and I and of course many wild animals. What is the name of your mother? Why do you ask? Uh, please, my son, it's very important that you tell us. Our kingdom will be in great danger if we don't find him. It's usually not in my habit to speak to strangers. But for the respect I have for elders, and from the way you look, seems what you seek is of great importance. My mother's name is Adugo. Huh? Adugo. In that case, you are the man we are looking for. Why me? My son, it's a long story. Please, can you give us some water to quench our thirst? Then we can sit down and talk. That was how it all happened. Mother, is it true? Their story, is it true? Is it true that my father was supposed to be the king and he was killed? And I am from Diago and I am the heir to their throne, is it true? You must believe me, my son. For I speak not from my knowledge, but that of the gods. You must also help us to talk to Kuki to stop this bloodshed. Well, I do not believe you, old man. Only one person can confirm your story. That person is my mother. I ask you again, mother. Is it true? Son, what is speak is true. Really? I was just into this forest where I labored and suffered alone until I met a kind hunter, Onyoma, who was living here. He accommodated me. Who later died. That was how I inherited this hut from him. I lived all alone in this forest. Great Okoko, the God of the Wings, he puts his eyes oversees this forest. Helpless and wounded I am. A poor pregnant widow. Because his people rejected and abandoned for a crime she did not commit. To your grace and mercy, Great Okuku, they have survived in this jungle, not showing the fruit of my womb. I do not know what the future holds for me or my child. So I dedicate him to you today. I do not know if I will live to see his innocent face. But I will die in labor. Please, great Okuko. Please see me to delivery. Protect him as your own.
I have heard you woman. No harm shall come to you nor your child. I shall make him my own. His voice I shall hear, and through his eyes I shall see. This is my covenant with him. Hmm, my son, that was how I dedicated you to Okoko. I never wanted to tell you who you were. You to the right time. And the right time now is now my son. It is why it's only your voice that you can hear. Can you not save your people from destruction, your majesty? Great Okoko, great one, I, I beg you, spare their lives. They come in peace. Why do you wish to save them? Have I cursed their people? Well, because life is precious. Not the lives of those who inflicted pain on you and your mother. Great Okoko, it wasn't their fault. Okemiri should take the blame. It wasn't their fault at all. They are my people. Oh, you already know this story. Yes, I know the story. He told me everything. I will spare the lives of these three, according to your request. But the rest of the inhabitants of India will feel my wrath. I have been very patient with them because each time I strike, he pacifies my anger with his sacrifice. But this time around, I will show no mercy. Hey, great Okoko, great one, please. It is me, huh? It is me, I am begging you. Do not harm anyone anymore, Biko. Death is the price of my cause. I have cursed Indiago, and they will pay with their blood. He is going to attack. We must go. I summoned you all to pick a date for my coronation ceremony. With due respect, my prince, the gods have chosen the heir to the throne. You cannot be crowned anymore. Yes. How dare you speak such blasphemy, old man? And by the way, who do you talk? has to be the chosen one. He is the chosen one. What a conspiracy. Not at all. And who are you, old man? I am Otruko, the chief priest of Unguku, of Ndiago, the eye and the mouthpiece of the gods. To hell with you, Otruko. To hell with you and your gods. I know him. You are the jungle boy.
So no, you are telling me the gods chose this jungle fellow to me, United States Marine. Exactly. Yes. You know what? You are fools. To hell with you people. To hell with all of you. You know what? You are just a bunch of criminals, conspirators and liars. But I tell you all, this throne belongs to me and no one else. You lie! You lie! You know what, Jungle Fellow? I was kind of liking you, but you are getting on my nerves. <clears throat> this is the choice of the gods, not man. I pray you let us respect the choice of the gods and save our people from this calamity. Please. I can see you're just being stubborn. But I tell you, I will send you to hell. Just wait and see. Especially you know. You all are a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> Why don't the friends let the will of God have a this place? Bloody God. Bloodshed. Okay? No more bloodshed. Take me instead. Kill me. Take my life. Spill my blood. Please. I hate to see your tears. And the taste of your blood is like sad wine. For you are a part of me. I can see how heavy your heart is. That you shed tears. I swear by our covenant that I shall not make you cry anymore. I will make you the greatest of all kings that has thread the surface of the earth. Yet without a price, your people shall become my own, and their blood as sacred as yours, that I must never feed on. I shall not return to Indiago, neither will my wrath. I thirsted for her blood, but now I know her destiny. You will work through the passage of royalty with her, her palm glued to yours, her breath close to yours, for she is a part of your destiny, the one you shall call your queen. Good luck, Ikenga. Good luck, son of a koko, son of a god. I am with you always, even when I'm gone. Farewell, king of Ndiagun. Ngogu, your god is with you. Son of late Atama, for the gods have favored. I know you. You're the kind hunter that saved my life in the jungle. I remember yours too, the vulnerable princess of Mbiago. The gods have favored you. Really? Well, I guess you are the favored one. Thank you. Our people. Thanks for saving my people. 
He is the chosen one, the new king of Ndiago. Today will remain a memorable day in my life. Um, the day I was crowned king. King of this great community. It's, it's uh, words fail me. And uh, before I, I go on, let me appeal to all of you here. Remember that I am new. <coughs> you know, I am new in this. Just a few days ago, I was the hunter the forest. <laughs> Today I'm seated here, the king of this great land. I am grateful to all of you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, let me recognize the presence of my mother. Thank you very much. Thank you. She has been with me through thick and thin. And today, this is, look where we are. Um, I also want to recognize the presence of my wife, um, the new queen of this land. <laughs> new queen. No, no. <laughs> yes. Uh, let, let me also recognize the presence of the Queen Mother. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and of course, um, the Ono Your Majesty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, elders, elders of our great community. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then, not yeah. forgetting uh, our Chief Priest, Ezemo Ono. <laughs> yes, um, like I said um, when I started, I promised to lead with so much wisdom. Um, I am new in this, so I will always consult you people and I need your support. I cannot do this anymore. Stand with me. Let us bring back peace, progress and unity and happiness to this great kingdom. Thank you. Yeah.